Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here. Hello! Welcome back to another episode of the Nobody Spent Road to Glory. First things first, Happy Christmas Eve. Hope you guys are all having a very nice time. I am, of course, rocking Christmas Jumper. Hopefully it shows up. It's green. We might struggle with a green screen, but hopefully you guys saw that and I didn't just go see-through for a bit. Uh, but today, 2K have made it a very happy Christmas Eve indeed. And uh, Pink Diamond Kobe, Pink Diamond Shaq, Pantheon Set is here. We have also got three new season of giving players to add in for me personally today because we did the Ruby Karis Levert moment challenge. Today, Thursday, Ruby Carmelo was the lock-in reward. And also there's a new spotlight today as well. So we've got a new set and a new set of spotlights. We've got a locker code down here. I've got my own locker code as well, which I don't know what's in it. And I don't think we're going to put it in in this video because I will be putting it in live on a stream. So you guys are going to see it in this video. I'm not going to know what's in it. So you're going to ask to let me know down below what you get from it. And uh, yeah, we've actually sold quite a few things and hopefully made quite a bit of MT. So a lot going down today. Christmas Eve vibes. Very good indeed. And if you came out to the YouTube stream earlier, thank you guys so much. We did rip a few packs uh, for the very, very, very slim chance that we've got a Pink Diamond Kobe or a Pink Diamond Shaq. Um, spoilers, didn't happen. Uh, but yeah, it was still good and we topped out at nearly a thousand people in there. So shout out to you guys. I will be live for a little short stream tomorrow, Christmas Day stream, just a short one to uh, say massive thank you to you guys for this year and a big happy Christmas. And Archie will come through, my dog, of course, and he will be in his Christmas jumper. So if you want to see a very cute dog in a Christmas jumper, this is a place to be. So let's jump into it, guys. If you are new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Daily streams, daily videos, and they ain't stopping just because Christmas is here. And of course, a massive thank you to the goats of the channel, Eric, Jason, Cody, Spooky, Caleb, Andrew, Josh, Hammer, Milkshake, Luke, Rohan. Thank you guys so much for your support. All right, let's jump into it. Locker code time or poll time. Which player do you want the most? Kobe Bryant. Not a, don't even have to think about it, man. It's Kobe. 85% of people going for Kobe as well, as you would expect. We've got a double vault event, which is huge, by the way, because we still need that pink diamond Wayne Embry. So double vault event. It just says 8 a.m. to 8 a.m. So I don't know if that's going to be there all weekend. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it is. In terms of XP, not that it matters for me. Uh, but we've got our daily challenges there. And they have 35 new Pantheon challenges, guys. 35. In total, today, there was 25,000 XP added in. You've got 2,700 from here and then uh, 22,000 in the Pantheon sets. That's huge. Huge. Absolutely incredible. So moving over, triple that offline. 526 wins now. Only three rewards left. 2,000 MT, 25 tokens, pink diamond microphone. That's all we've got left. That is crazy. And as I mentioned, there are new spotlights. But there's also a new weekly challenge for a Pantheon pack. Definitely we'll be getting through that. But yeah, new spotlights. The final. That's right, guys. There's not five. There's not six. There is five. The final set of spotlight challenges. So you guys can see I've got through four. First one, 12-point game. Easy life. Second one, four-minute quarter game. <sighs> kind of long. 40-point triple threat game. Easy life. 50-point triple threat game. Easy life. Five minute quarter game, ew, nobody wants to be playing full games. So we've got a five minute quarter game and then I don't know what we've got in the uh, challenges, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But we do get an NBA Finals Deluxe Award Pack at the end of it. So that's not too bad at all. Moment Challenge came out yesterday just as I finished recording my video, which is so damn typical. Uh, but yeah, Ruby Karis Lever was the reward for completing this game and he is one of the players you need for Galaxy Up or Baron Davis. So make sure you do this challenge. Seven Nets players, easy life, four minute quarter game, straightforward. Uh, we did that, got that done. So let's move over and actually I just skirted past it and I forgot to show you guys. The locker code for LeBron James, the Emerald LeBron James is King James Four Rings as you can see right there in the description. So yeah, make sure you put that code in for a free Emerald LeBron James, who is needed again for Galaxy Opal Baron Davis. All right, packs. What do we got? What do we got? We've got a couple of things. We've got a couple of things. We've got five gold contracts, first of all, which is very clutch because um, you guys know I've been spending a lot of MT on contracts lately, and I need as many of those as I can get. So we have got duplicates everywhere. We have got Ruby Carmelo Anthony, the login reward for today for Christmas Eve. And uh, again... One of the 15 cards you need for Galaxy Opal Baron Davis. So there we go. Ruby Mello added in. Very nice. Next up, we have got Karis LeVert, as mentioned. We got him from the Moments Challenge. You need seven Nets players, and that is all you need. We get him. That's another card. 
added into the Galaxy Opal Baron Davis set. We've got our Emerald LeBron James. So three cars we've added in for that set today, boys. We are getting tantalizingly close to um, oh, another Galaxy Opal. Mad. And then we've got a Diamond Consumers Pack. And you might be thinking, well, where the hell did that come from? Everybody's getting a Diamond Consumers Pack tomorrow. Not today. That's right, boys. We got it out of the vault. We got it out of the vault. And it wasn't even when the double uh, event, vault event was on. It was before that. We managed to get a Diamond Consumers Pack. So, I don't know what I want, man. But, uh, sorry, it's something good. I said, I'll, I'll, I'll wait for something good. Because that ain't it, Chief. An Air Jordan 2 shoe. That's going to be... Ooh, a solid little 3,000 MT. 2,000 MT. God, not even 3,000. Wow. That is... God, oh, that's painful. All right, let's move on. Let's get some MT in the club. So, as you can see here, I'm trying to sell a few badges because badges are expensive right now. No luck on those, though, and they've been up for two hours, so I don't think they're going to sell. Eddie Curry. Eddie Curry. You can see I tried to get 24K. So, 227 is what he had on him there. 227. So you can see I was mm, probably about the 10th one up. At the time when I first searched for him, there was none up. It was like one of the first ones pulled. And uh, yeah, we opened up four packs for the culture today. Four of these ones, not the deluxe ones. Four of these ones. Uh, we managed to get that Eddie Curry in pack number one, which was great. Pack two, we got another Amethyst. It was an original owner Amethyst LeBron James from the current set. And the other two packs were big duds. Big duds. But the set itself, you can see there, full 12-man set. So we've got a lot of cards to go over. All right. And in terms of our auction outcomes, we've got a couple of bits here. So Nets players got themselves for 2.5k, as mentioned, because of that uh, Karis Levert challenge. Ruby Kyle Korver. That's right, guys. Ruby Kyle Korver for 24,500 MT. You can ask me why his price is so high, and I will tell you I have absolutely no idea. Not a clue. But we sold him for that, so I'll take it. Dikembe, we also managed to pull him out of pack. Sold him for 3.7. Flexible release for 6.5. Giant Slayer for 9.5. And then Quick First Step for 24k. That was the silver one. And the reason it was that expensive is because when Kobe originally dropped, he did not have Quick First Step. So Quick First Step went so high in price. And then 2k just added it to him anyway. 2k were like, we're just going to screw you. If you've invested in Quick First Step, we're just going to screw you real quick. So uh, I'm really, really happy I went ahead and got that card uh, sold when I did. So this is the current situation, guys, of the set for Galaxy Opal Baron Davis. Now, as I mentioned, Daniel Gibson, LeBron James Spotlight Challenge. That's the last one we've got. Daniel Gibson is the final amethyst. And that locks in for Diamond Vlade Divac. Player itself, not that great. But he goes in here. He sits in here very nicely next to John Rant. And that leaves three players. One is a mystery. The other two, Pink Diamond, Richard Jefferson, Pink Diamond, Alan Iverson. However, it is still a mystery as to how you get these cards. We don't know how you get these cards. We know how you get Vlade, and we don't know who this mystery player is going to be. But we are getting very, very close to our second Galaxy Opal, which is so damn exciting, man. I can't wait to get that. I'm still so pumped on Dwayne Wade. And now we're going to get another one? It's just mad. It's just mad. And uh, speaking of mad, we had this set drop today with these two big boys in it. Kobe and Shaq. So yeah, as you see here, no lock-in for this set. Not any tokens, not NT, nothing. Which is very weird. Very, very strange. But anyway, let's have a look at all of these cards that came out today. Now, some of them are very, very underwhelming. Um, most of the lower rated cards are pretty underwhelming. And I would probably say that this Matt Barnes... Probably the best out of the Sapphires and the Rubies. So, decent mid-range, really nice 3-ball, 85 perimeter D and 84 speed. So, definitely a 3 and D guy. But he does have clamps, he does have Interceptor, Hot Zone Hunter. So, a couple of defensive badges, a couple of shooting badges. You'll see what I mean when I say that he's probably the best. We've got Jordan Clarkson up next, six foot five, Good driving, good shooting. Decent ball control, but absolutely no defense. And uh, 79 lateral quickness isn't great. He's got a couple of shooting badges. Quick first steps, nice. You could argue that Jordan Clarkson is quite nice as well, but defensively he's going to be quite a liability. But yeah, these two Sapphires, not awful. Speaking of awful, <laughs> we have got Ruby Trey Young. And uh, feast your eyes on that defense right there, boys. 55 perimeter defense. Is there any card in my club that has worse defense? Than this card 
We're down to the silvers. Oh, there we go. Chris Clemens, a silver card. And then Jalen Adams and Carson Edwards. Three cards in my entire collection have worse defense than this Trey Young. That is insane. They've only got 70 lateral quickness as well, so not good. Offensively, yeah, he's fine. He's great. Really nice shooting badges. He's got range. Uh, he's got dead eye. But my goodness, he will be the big liability on the defensive end. Lamar Odom. You might see that name and think, oh, this is going to be a good budget card. No. Uh, no, this is the definition of, a, of an average card, of an N card. Because I just don't care about this card. 81 drive layout, 80 drive dunk, 80 mid, 79 3. 78 ball control, 70s for defense, 80s for rebounding, 80s. For, do you see what I mean? It's just so bang average, absolutely everywhere. It's not good at anything, really. It's just average at everything. Um, he doesn't have that many shooting badges. doesn't really have that many defensive badges. It's just kind of a card that's there. He's just kind of there. Uh, then we've got Dikembe Mutombo, so 7 foot 2. You kind of know what you're going to get with a Dikembe card, and uh, it doesn't disappoint, disappoint in that regard. So loads of defensive badges, um, no shooting, no real offense, but 90 block, 92 prim, uh, interior D, sorry. 74 speed, it's all right. Let's compare him to my favorite card this year. It's not my favorite card, but my my guy, Tyson Chandler. So he's definitely got the speed on Tyson Chandler. Uh, he's got a little bit of defense over Tyson Chandler. I mean, he's just better Tyson Chandler, isn't he? He just is. Um... But still, it's a, it's a center that can't shoot. So, very limited in that regard. We've got Amethyst Eddie Curry next up. And again, you might see the name and you might think, damn, this car's going to be great. Reel that back a bit. Just reel it back a bit, guys. Let me show you. Catch and shoot, corner specialist, um, rim protector, intimidator, rebound chaser. So, badges are actually on point. Stats, though. 80 driving layup, no mid, no three. 85 driving dunks, not bad. 80 block, 84 interior D. It's just not not incredible. Not incredible. But 8 speed, acceleration, not bad. And 67 for the lateral quickness. It's a decent budget card, but no offense. Like, you might as well just take Dikembe if you want purely defensive center. You might as well take Dikembe. Um, 67 lateral quickness. Yeah, it's another card that sadly just ain't all that. Another card that ain't all that is uh, Amethyst D'Angelo Russell. So, a Hall of Fame badge being Ice in Veins naturally. Um, and then 33 gold badges, which is quite a lot. Quick first step. I think he's got range down here somewhere. He does, and Dead Eye. So, a lot of shooting badges. But you will notice there do be no defensive badges. We come down here, and he do have no defense. So, a purely offensive player, and yes, offensively he will be fantastic, but on the defensive end, he is going to cost you big time. And then we'll go to someone who I'm about to say exactly the same things for. It's out with his Kyrie Irving. Again, loads of gold badges, loads of offensive badges. Again, you will notice there are no defensive badges here. Again, he's got no defense, which is not ideal, and only 74 for the lateral quickness. So, two very, very good offensive cards. Let's not get it twisted. I'm not saying they're bad cards offensively. They're fantastic offensively, but as a complete package, they just don't have half of the floor. They don't have any defense. Uh, but we move on. All right, this, is, this is where it gets good, guys. This is where it gets good. This is where it gets tasty. Chris Bosch, diamond card. Very very good. Now, previously when I checked, he was like 40k. He's going up. Okay. He's going up. Oh, wow. He's really going up. Wow. He was 50k early, guys. He's now sitting at 64k. Or 60k. Wow. Okay. And there is good reason for his price tag. And it, you could argue it should be more. Uh, stat, let's go to the stats first of all. 80 driving up. 80 driving dunk. 94 mid. 83-3. 80 block, 89 interior defense, great rebounding, and then 79 speed and acceleration. This guy as a stretch is going to be unreal. Hall of Fame catch and shoot, corner specialist, pick and popper, hot start, gold range down here. Rim protector, heart crusher, intimidator, rebound chaser, flexible release, range, green machine. Oh my god, this card is incredible. Genuinely, I might buy him to uh, have in my main squad uh, that powerful position because this card is going to be fantastic. Another card who's fantastic, but I don't think is worth 140k, is Scotty Pippen. Surely he's a buyout. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, I was going to say. Um, so he will be yeah, quite a bit cheaper. Let's have a look at his stats. So one thing to note about this card, he's got hot zones everywhere. 
like genuinely everywhere, but he does not have Hot Zone Hunter. Should be a bit of an L, but anyway, we move. Hall of Fame Clamps, Hall of Fame Heart Crusher, Hall of Fame Quick First Step. And we've got Gold, Lob City's uh, Dimer, Defensive Leader, Interceptor, Intimidator, Pogo, Showtime, Downhill, Unplugable Floor Jarrett, really nice. No real shooting badges. And like I said, he does have Hot Zones everywhere, and he's got an 87 mid and an 87 3. Not bad. 86 ball control, 95 perimeter defense, and a 95 lateral credits. A Scotty Pim card is fantastic. I don't know if he can hold shooting badges. Nah, I don't. Uh, he can, yeah, no, he can. Put a couple of shooting badges on this card, and he's gonna be ridiculous. And speaking of ridiculous, we've got the two pink diamonds in this set. We've got pink diamond Shaq and pink diamond Kobe Bean Bryant. So start with Shaq, and this is. The epitome of a realistic Shaq card. So before we get a Shaq that can shoot threes from half court and ankle breakers or whatever, this is what a Shaq card should be. So Hall of Fame drop stepper, put back boss, heart crusher, intimidator, moving truck, rebound chaser, back down punisher, contact finisher, brick wall, gold lob city finisher, rim protector, defensive leader, pogo, silver chase down, silver interceptor, and then stats wise, 92 driving layout, which is very high. No mid, no three. 99 standing dunk. 95 driving dunk. 95 block. 96 interior D. 95 for the rebounding. And 84 for the speed. This man is about to be so dominant down in the post and just on the floor. Comparable to Dwight, realistically. Dwight's got a mid range, which is obviously a, a big bonus. Uh, but, you know, Shaq has uh, got that height advantage. And it's just a Shaq card in it. It's the big diesel. You're going to want that card. Speaking of a card that people are going to want to have. Oh my god. 1.1 million. 1 million. 1 million. Hey, these two guys must be fuming right about now. This guy's losing half a mil to a card that was posted five seconds after him. Mad. Uh, wow. Kobe Bean Bryant. A million MT from a pack pool. That is wild. Hall of Fame clamps. Intimidator. Dead Eye. Flexible release. So really strong. Gold badges. Heart crusher. Contact finisher. Quick first step. Like I said, when this card first came out, he didn't have that badge. Well, on the database, he didn't have that badge. But when he was added into the packs, 2K did add it onto him. Green Machine. Hot Zone Hunter. Range. Uh, Interceptor. Sithery. It's just, it's just incredible. 94 driver layout. 95 driving dunk. 97 mid. 92-3. Great passing, great defense, great speed. But 1 million MT, you got to be wild, man. But that Kobe Bryant card is exceptional. So the four top-rated cards here, brilliant from this set. Kyrie and D'Lo, great offensively, but no defense. And the rest of the set is just pretty meh. It's just pretty meh, even for budget guys. Um, anything else sold? Downhill sold for 12K. That's a dub. I would take that. All right, guys. And if you have made it to this point in the video... We're nearly 20 minutes in right now. Uh, I'm going to show you guys my locker code. And I have no idea what's on it. Because it's a generic code. It does not have a set name in it. It is my team. It is JD Crossover. And uh, yeah, this, this could be anything. I have absolutely no clue. And then it is V... Oh, hello. It is VSJ27. So that right there is my locker code. Now, this locker code is not a standard one. It's not one that's available for 24 hours. This code is actually available until the 8th of January, until the end of Season 3. So I've got a locker code that's available until the end of Season 3. That's awesome. And that really is crazy. Uh, it's still amazing to think that my name is in this game, uh, being programmed into this game. Uh, but there we go. Not just for 24 hours this time, for a couple of weeks. Insane. So let me know down below, guys, what you get from that code. By the time you guys are watching this video, I will have put that code in because I'm doing it live on Twitch. So that, I think, just about covers everything that came through today, guys. Just about. So we will be live tomorrow, like I said, for a quick little Christmas Day stream tomorrow. And uh, if you guys come through to that, that'll be awesome. If not, have a very happy Christmas. And I hope we get plenty of nice gifts along the way. So that's going to do it from me today, guys. Hope you have enjoyed. As usual, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.